What's up guys? It's Christopher and today I'm going to be showing you guys the system that I created to get 500 cold calls done for me and my agency completely on autopilot. I literally do not need to make any cold calls and the whole thing is done completely automated for me. It only costed me $120 upfront and then I didn't have to pay anything else until I was already having sales calls with potential customers and closing them. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, so a couple things first. You do not want to be outsourcing your outreach until you yourself are fully comfortable and have a high level of understanding on how your cold call should be conducted. This is because it is going to be extremely difficult to correctly train an appointment setter on how to approach potential customers in your specific niche if you yourself do not understand what are common objections, what are the common questions they ask, how to go about maneuvering certain pushback they give you. It's going to be a lot more difficult for you to put this into an SOP and it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to teach this and pass this kind of knowledge onto other people if you yourself don't already have it. Obviously, you guys know me. I've already created an SOP for hiring, an SOP for interviewing, and an SOP for cold calling for my personal appointment setters. And obviously, I'm going to be sharing it with you guys for free. I'm going to link a master document in the description of this video that you guys can just copy paste. But obviously, you're still going to need to change things and tailor it to your specific niche, all right? So let's get into the first thing that you're going to need to set up. So there are three tools that we're going to need to automate the whole outreach cold call system. And the first thing is going to be Zoom Premium. So the reason we're going for Zoom Premium is because there are some features that it allows that you just can't get on the free version. The first thing we need is definitely going to be infinite call time. And that's because when you're doing the interviewing session, it could run for like two to three hours maybe. And you don't want Zoom shutting down and just kicking everyone out of your interviewing call. It's really embarrassing and it tells them that you have Zoom free. So you definitely don't want that happening. It's a bad look for you and your agency. Another thing that Zoom Premium has is a recording function that'll record the whole call and it'll allow you to review it and look over everyone's interviews and see who are the best candidates for the appointment setter position at your agency. The next thing they have is breakout rooms. So the way it's going to work is you're going to have all these people here that are applicants that have made it past the first initial interview or the first like round of like screening. And then you're going to break it off into one breakout room where you'll just bring one person, have a short five minute one-on-one -on -one interview. And then you'll go back into the main room, bring out someone else. And you just can't have two rooms in one Zoom call unless you have premium, I believe. So that's why we're going for Zoom premium. We need infinite call time. We need the recording settings and we need the breakout room. At this point, if you're looking to outsource your outreach and you're looking to hire people in your agency, you should definitely be able to afford the $20 a month that Zoom premium has because by now you've been doing sales calls on Zoom. So you already probably have Zoom premium anyways. The next thing we're going to need is a membership to onlinejobs.ph. So onlinejobs.ph is like a remote work slash freelancer job board that is specifically for people in the Philippines. And the reason we want to target specifically Filipino remote workers for appointment setting is because in the Philippines, they speak obviously Filipino, but they're almost bilingual in the sense that all of them or most of them speak very, very good English with the lowest level usually being like conversational. And I can say this because I'm half Filipino. I've been to the Philippines. Everyone there pretty much speaks English. I'm able to converse with everyone in English because I can't speak Filipino and I haven't had it. I haven't had like any issues with it. So yeah. And since you're doing cold calls, it's going to be very important that they do speak good English because if they don't speak good English, the chances of you converting them into an actual sales appointment is going to be significantly lower. And also if they have a heavy accent, unfortunately they might just assume it's like telemarketing, which we kind of are, but like. It just has a bad rap with regular people if they have an accent because they always assume they're getting cold called from a developing country, which is true, but you just don't want people to just scoff at your cold call attempts because your appointment setters don't speak good English. So we're going for Filipino people because they tend to speak good English and a membership to onlinejobs.ph is about, I think it's like 90, $99, something like that. So in total, it'll be, it'll be like 120 for the whole interviewing and hiring campaign, which in my opinion is extremely cheap. Also on onlinejobs.ph, which we'll get into a little bit more. I'll show you guys how to screen people because they do have some standardized tests that they test the applicants on. And you can kind of see everyone's profile and see where they like roughly stand with a bunch of different skill sets. And then obviously the last thing you're going to need is a training manual, cold calling SOP, which stands for standard operating procedure, which is essentially going to be the Bible. Like if you want to call it that, that your appointment setters are going to be referring to if they have any questions on how to do things, the order of operations for your specific agency, just like pretty much like a manual on how to do their job. So obviously you guys know I've created one already and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys for free. It's going to be linked in the description of this video and you guys can obviously just 
copy paste it change out whatever you don't like and just make it fit more to your agency but you guys know me i love giving you guys free value so obviously i'm just going to include all the stuff and not charging anything for it so yeah let's go ahead and get into setting up zoom all right guys so if we're in zoom here essentially what you're just going to want to do is just go into your little meeting section right here and then you're just going to want to click schedule meeting so right here in the top right click schedule meeting here and then what you're going to do is just call it whatever like round two of interviews for your agency name whatever it is set it to the right date set it to the right time set it to about like i'd say just set it to four hours just in case and then also what you're going to want is to just generate automatically template doesn't really matter you can leave a passcode it doesn't matter leave a waiting room here too so people can just join early if they want to and just wait and then the next thing you're, you're going to want to do is turn on a video for hosts and participants just to make sure everyone's on video just so you can kind of get a feel of everyone and what kind of environment they're going to be working from and you're also going to want computer audio only and then just click save so once you click save it'll create an interview for you here so what you're going to want to do is just click right here copy link and then you're just going to want to put this link aside and you're going to be giving it to people that have passed the preliminary round of screening on onlinejobs.ph and this will be where you host the actual interviewing session so this is all you got to do for zoom just make sure you schedule it for the right date for the right time and for the right time zone and then also make sure you put in all the settings that i just showed you all right guys so this is onlinejobs.ph this is the job board that i use to hire appointment setters i hire them on a commission only basis which means i don't pay them anything up front i don't pay them an hourly wage i only pay them for the appointments that they get booked in for me on my behalf while they're doing appointment setting and i'll show you guys how i structure the commissions so that it's still attractive for appointment setters and then i'll also show you guys how to structure the actual job postings to do some pre-screening and to also uh, attract the highest quality appointment setters for you and your agency to start working for you quick disclaimer full transparency the link for onlinejobs.ph in the description is my affiliate link i'm not sponsored or anything like that i do personally use this service but i just thought it would be dishonest to not tell you guys that that is an affiliate link all right so let's go ahead and get inside all right so once you guys sign up for onlinejobs.ph and you pay the membership fee this is what it's going to look like i'm just going to go ahead and first show you guys the job postings i do just to explain it and then i'll show you guys what the interface actually looks like here so for the jobs i have posted i posted three and that's because when you post a new one it kind of bumps it to the top of the job board so as you guys can see here, I've gotten a total of about a hundred different applicants. And in my opinion, most of these applicants were pretty high quality. So I really don't mind paying this fee for the amount of time it saves me. Like obviously you could use something like Upwork to hire people, but there's a lot more people hiring and it tends to be in my opinion of a lower quality. So here's a job what I have. So I titled it looking for a female appointment setter. That's because I'm in the beauty niche. And what I've noticed is when I'm doing outreach, usually the people in the beauty niche that own the businesses are also girls and they tend to respond better to girls reaching out to them. So that's why I'm looking specifically for female appointment setters, but you can change that if you want. You can just say looking for appointment setter. Um, the salary I have is 600 a month, which in my opinion is an underestimation. If they're doing <clears throat> two bookings a day for me into my calendar, uh, they'll usually be making around 900 a month. But again, since I'm not paying any of it upfront and I'm paying in commissions, I really don't mind because if I'm getting two booked appointments a day for $900 a month, I'd be making a lot more money, right? So I don't really mind paying them that much, but I just put 600 here. And then here is the job overview. So I'm looking for a female appointment setter. Again, you can just cut that out if you don't like if you don't care about the gender to work for me and book appointments. Leads will be provided and you will have to do at least 100 cold calls a day. And this should take about four hours. So you'll be paid 20 USD for each appointment that shows up. If a client is closed, you'll be given a bonus of 50 USD for each month that they work with us. So this is how I structure the commission. So I pay them $10 if they book an appointment for me. I pay them an additional $10 when the booked appointment shows up to the meeting, if they show up to the meeting. And then if I close the client, I give them an extra 50 US dollars a month in recurring revenue for every month that the client that I've closed from their cold calls works with us. And that's just to give them incentive to one, make sure that the clients show up for the appointments that they're saying they're going to. And also if I close them, they get a bonus, which in my opinion, was just raise their morale, make them work harder and make them want to bring us more clients. So I think doing commission based is fair because I'm paying them a lot more than the hourly wage they're usually asking for. So on average, they're working four hours a day for five days a week for 20 days a month they're working two 400 hours usually how much am i like 950 divided by 400 like they're getting paid about like 237 an hour on average assuming they do well but obviously again i don't pay them until <clears throat> they bring me a, a customer so this is a commission only job you must be a woman who can speak fluent english you must be able to make calls from 10 a.m eastern standard time to 3 p.m eastern standard time so again, the job is only commissioned. You don't have to specify that you're looking only for women, but you should specify that you're looking for fluent English if that's your native language. And also you should specify what time range you're expecting them to do cold calls from. For me, it's 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
because th that happens to be like the best time where my niche is active and picking up the phone. <clears throat> and then here, please provide your resume and your application. Please do not email me your resume. So this is just some pre-screening because we're going to be giving them a lot of text to read through with a lot of instructions. I just want to know off the bat if they can read instructions and execute accordingly. And if they don't include their resume in the initial application, I just won't even read their message at all. So. You can also specify what skills you're specifically looking for. So for me, I selected telemarketing, mobile marketing, email marketing, and this is what's worked best for me. So I'm going to go into my messages now, but I'm going to blur out all these girls' information just for privacy purposes, but I will be showing you guys the message I do when I find someone I like. So I'm just going to go into this girl's profile here, and again, I'll blur all that out. Okay, so here you can see like the average salary they're expecting. You can see their highest level of education. You can see how many hours they're looking for a week, or sorry, per hour and how many hours they can work a week. It gives you like a short little bio, and then you can see like their age, location, and then something really interesting here is you can see their IQ. I don't really care for IQ as long as they can do their job and they can learn well, but if you do want to consider IQ, that is something you can look at. Another thing is you can see their English level here, and a very big thing for me is every single person on this website is government verified, like government ID verified, which means that like the chances of you finding like a scam or someone that's just trying to waste your time is a lot less. Most of these people are very serious about finding a job. You can also see like a quick summary of their skills, but obviously you should have their resume. So you don't really need to read this. And also you can see how good they think they are at specific skills that they're listing out here. So that's why I use onlinejobs.ph. It's very good to hire people. It's very good to screen them. And also in my opinion, again, the quality of applicants is just significantly higher than something like Upwork. So here is someone that I ended up hiring. They're working for me now. So again, I'm just going to borrow all their information for privacy purposes, but essentially it is just the message I send when I find someone that I like is congratulations. You've passed the first round of interviews. We'll be hosting a Zoom interview on specific time, specific date, and then please let me know if you cannot make it. And then I, obviously I'll just provide the Zoom link. So usually from here, they'll just say thank you and then they'll show up. But if they can't show up, they'll let you know and you can look to either reschedule or you just can't hire them depending on how busy your schedule is for interviews. So. Again, we already created the Zoom link. We just congratulate the people that we're going to bring to the second round of interviews. Just post them the Zoom link and then they show up. So let's go into the actual interviewing script and then the SOP. If you guys are enjoying the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's free and help the channel out a whole lot. I post three times a week and I try and pack each video with as much value as possible. In the description, I'm also going to be linking my agency owner Discord community. It's where I have all of my resources, just like the one in the description of this video, but now they're all congregated in one place. And it's just somewhere for agency owners to just like hang out with other agency owners, ask questions, bounce ideas off of each other, and uh, look for help. So yeah, it's completely free. I don't sell anything. I don't have a course. I don't sell any mentorships or anything like that. Everything I do is completely for free. And I hope I see you guys on my Discord channel. Okay, so once you have vetted these people and you've looked through their resumes and decided that you think that they would be a good fit to be an appointment setter for you and your agency, this is essentially just the script or the SOP for the actual interview. So when they all join, they're all going to be in one big Zoom room and you can go through these initial portions of the interviewing script. So you're just going to introduce your agency, explain what you guys do, and explain like who you guys are looking to work with. And then you're also just going to clarify again that this is a commission only based job and here you have the opportunity to again explain your payment structure and then after that you can just let anyone ask any questions if they have any general inquiries so the first thing i'm going to have them do for the interview is i'm going to have them do an english comprehension test so it's pretty basic english it's just like can i park here and you just pick the best fitting answer to it so only for half an hour it's this kind of stuff and they just got to work through it i think it's out of like 20 or 25 if i remember correctly and then what I do is I say they need to have at least a score of 10 or 15, whatever you're really looking for. It depends. I usually keep it around like 10 to 15. Somewhere in that range is acceptable for me. And then after that, what I'm going to have them do is a speed test. So let's just let's open up. I just have them click this, run speed test. And then I have them take a screenshot of their speed test and send it into the Zoom chat. And this is just to make sure that they have a good or decent internet connection and that there most likely won't be any issues when they are doing these outreach cold calls on behalf of your agency or my agency, right? And then after that, I'll be doing one-on-one -on -one interviews. So I'll just let someone volunteer to go first. Usually someone will volunteer and then we'll work through the one-on-one -on -one interviews. So there's only a couple of questions I really ask them. I just confirm they're available to work five days a week. I confirm they're available to work the amount of hours I need. I just confirm they have a quiet place to actually make the the cold calls from. I just confirm with them that they can do the actual cold call amount that I'm setting out for them. 
And then I just ask them if there is anything that will be preventing them from completing their job daily. And then I just confirm with them that it takes two days to get trained to make sure that they're okay and free for the training. So this time I had it set on Monday, but you could just set this date to pretty much whatever date you want it to be. And uh, you can just change it to whatever you want essentially for the days. And then after that, I ask them if they're looking for long-term work or short-term work. Because I'm taking the time to train these people, because I'm going to be giving them feedback and coaching for however long they're with me, I don't want people that are just going to be job hopping or else I'm going to have to replace them, retrain them, host more interviews, do all that stuff. So if they're looking for short-term work, I'm not going to hire them. They tend to be pretty honest with that. And again, if they're looking for short-term work, chances are I'm not going to hire them unless they're really, really good at what they do. And then I might give them a better offer to try and persuade them to stay and work for me. So then after that, I just confirm the payment structure. Again, this is how much I'm paying them, but you can change these to whatever you want. So you can change 10 USD to whatever you want. You can change the bonus to whatever you want for the show up. And you can change the monthly recurring revenue to whatever you want also. And then here, I just get them to send me their email in the Zoom link. I'll just take note of it, put it down somewhere. And then if they do get hired, I will go ahead and send them an email, just sending them a Zoom link for the training. In my case, that would be happening on Monday and Tuesday. So it's pretty straightforward. So again, what you want to do is just get a Zoom room for everyone to land into, ask the general questions. And then after that, make a breakout room and then just individually move each person to the breakout room after they volunteer to go next. Interview them one-on-one, -on -one, tell them it's okay for them to leave now and just store their email somewhere else along with maybe some notes on like how you think they did during the interview. And yeah, so this is what I do. And this is the interviewing script I personally use. I can't really think of any more questions that would really be relevant. Maybe at the beginning, you can ask them to tell them about yourselves. It doesn't really change anything in my opinion. But yeah, so this is the interview script and hopefully that helps you guys out. This is the SOP that I use to train all of my appointment setters. Front to back, it trains them from like onboarding all the way to cold calling everything they need to do. I also have included a cold calling script, a cold email script, a call to email response script. All these things are going to be included in this document, which is again going to be linked in the description. It's completely free. It's just a Google Docs link. And you guys are more than welcome to just copy paste it because I love providing you guys value. So yeah, just go ahead and just copy paste it. And I'll just give you guys like a rundown of everything in here. I've structured the document in a way so that all these headers are clickable. So you can skip to literally any portion of the document. And this will allow our cold callers or my appointment setters to pretty much jump to wherever they need to be without having to just like read through the whole document every single time. So it's organized in that way for ease of access and so that they can use it while they're making these calls. The first thing I do when I hire an appointment setter and I onboard them is I give them a business email. There's two reasons for this. One, it looks more professional. Two, my domain's already warmed up. So when they're doing these outreaches, they have a higher response rate and also it will not be landing in spam because my email domain is already warmed up. So it's already a reputable email provider, right? And then I give them access to our CRM. So I use Go High Level. So I give them an account in Go High Level so that I can monitor their outreach. And then the next thing I do is I give them a tour around Go High Level, how to navigate everything if they're not familiar with it, what everything does and what they'll need that is relevant to their specific job. And then after that, I just break down my pipeline here. I break down how to identify specific key pieces of information in Go High Level for each lead. And then the next thing is the outreach flow. So I'm not going to go down in, into like every single step here just because it would take forever. But essentially, this is just a breakdown of my complete pipeline process, how they should move things in between the pipelines, what they should do with each lead in which portion of the pipeline. Pretty much just breaks down exactly what I do for cold calling. And now this is just like a manual for them to use to mimic exactly what I'm doing with clear cut instructions on literally everything. So we have a qualified leads if they don't answer. They don't answer again, if they're sending emails, what emails they should be sending, when to send the emails, if they're doing a response to cold emails, if they get declined, if they're following up with people, if they're scheduling appointments, it's just like pretty much everything in here is covered for them. Here, I clear this out because it's very niche specific. It's just common questions. So it's just a Q&A. So like you just list out a common question, tell them what the answer should be. And you could just create a whole bunch of answers and questions for things that you expect them to be asked and how you want them to answer it. This is why it's so important that you guys do cold calling first, so that you can train your appointment setters on objection handling specific to your niche, which will drastically increase their conversion rate. And then it'll save them a lot of growing pain because now they don't need to go through all the learning that you did. You can just pass the information on and uh, get higher quality leads and get more appointments faster, right? And then the last thing here is I have all of my appointment setters in, the, in my agency Slack channel. So I have them clock in. They just, what they do is they just tag me. Just let me know that they're clocking in. And then just to keep like a positive work culture, I just have them say something that they're grateful or looking forward to for the week. And I have them do this every time they clock in. And then when they're clocking out, so right now I'm having them call Eastern Standard Time and Pacific Standard Time. So they just say the amount of calls for the date complete, how many calls they did for the one time zone, how many calls, if they're calling the other time zone, how many calls they did, how many meetings they set, and any notes for any of the questions, anything they want me to know about, it's all here. So again, all the scripts are in here. Pretty much everything is in here. You don't really need anything else. You can make as many changes as you want to this. Just click on File, click on Make a Copy, then you'll have one in your own Google Drive. 
and you can change it however you want. So this is what I use to train my appointment setters and I host the training sessions on Zoom to kind of just walk them through everything. Thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, if you're looking to hire appointment setters, I just made your life a whole lot easier. If you guys are still at an earlier stage in your agency journey where you're not looking to hire appointment setters yet, in that same document, you guys will still have access to my cold calling script, my cold emailing script, and my cold email response call script, all completely for free, obviously. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's free and it helps the channel out a lot. And also, I'll be linking my Discord community where I have more resources just spread out pretty much everywhere in the Discord community. And it's somewhere where me and other agency owners like to hang out. If you have any questions, you can ask them there. If you're looking for any guidance, you can ask it there too. We all like to help each other out and we all just pretty much give each other feedback on ideas too. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.